whole thing started with Stan's original concept drawing, which was the basis for the suit design. When I started drawing that thing, uh, basically what I had in mind was, you know, that we could do some kind of vacuum form process or something to build um, these more fluid kind of shapes. So yeah, the, the initial plan was to do a lot of ABS back forming and hopefully fiberglass molding. And then we got really involved in crunching the numbers on the budget yeah. and decided money could be better spent other places. Initial method construction was going to be basically to carve it out of foam and try to do a total loss uh, fiberglass casting of. This was our first version of it. Uh, we basically carved it out of pink insulation foam, painted some primer on it, and tried to do a fiberglass cast of it. Um, the problems that we ran into were the fiberglass cures and it gets too hot and melts the foam. When we originally started doing the fiberglass molding, we had this hanging from this chain up here. And other than it dripping resin all over my floor, which is still permanently there, I spent the next three months picking fiberglass fibers out of my cat. Mm. So don't ever do fiberglass any place you plan to live. What we finally decided to do was to build a framework and stretch canvas over that and yeah. do a paintable epoxy. Yeah. See a lot of these. These were the kind of initial skeleton prototypes I've modeled out in 3D Studio. And we had a bunch of variants actually on the wood frame design, and I we think tried. This is like the fourth one we came up with, and it's the closest to what we actually ended up. Yeah, with. Yeah, we started with very thick cardstock, and we actually got that to the point of skinned. Yeah. But when we started doing test fittings, we realized that the backboard angle was wrong. We didn't like the armhole placement. Yep. The torso of this is pretty much just three wooden members in the front as a skeleton and a couple on the side and the back with the solid back plate. And then we just stapled canvas over it, stretched over and started painting it with shell shock, which is the two part thick seal plastic epoxy, which is an awesome, awesome product. The bulk of the suit is actually made from Home Depot. Yeah. Uh, the PLS or the primary life support pack is actually a last minute, oh shit, that didn't work. We got to make another version. Yeah, we tried to build them out of foam too. The I still have those two somewhere. This is actually a concrete mixing tub. And we found it roughly the size we wanted for the back of the torso. This is interesting too. That we've got a polycarbonate sphere from, was it California Plastics? Yeah, it California Plastics that was originally supposed to be for a street light. These are Lazy Susan uh, rotary bearings from McMaster Car. There's also a bearing system in the waist. This is actually two different pieces here, so it rotates. So the pants are fixed around your waist and you can still turn the torso, the entire thing rotates. This beautiful mission patch. The ship's name is the Argo. It's a drawing of the Argo traversing an ocean. And in the foreground, you have Barnard's star, which is a red dwarf star. And that's the mission patch. Yeah, the, the bulk of the suit, other than the torso and the helmet, are junk builds from Home Depot and, and stuff I had in the basement. Anybody can build a spacesuit if you have enough time and crazy. This one's mine. Okay. So, I'm gonna lay this out just like they would. Stan, you were right. Yeah. I have the knee padding in the back. So, this is just a wedge that gets stuck up my ass. Okay. This goes over my head. There are three Velcro points in here. And it basically sits in here like this. So, I've got like a little mock turtleneck on. Well, I will say that the first time you suit up, it's an amazing, like, I'm in a space suit! Yay! There's plugs in the back of the suits. Each suit is different. This is the prototype, so it's got the worst electrical system. One plug is fans, one plug is lights. Okay. The is other suit point? only has one plug. Okay. Okay. But yeah, for the first hour, it was definitely one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I mean, just to be sitting there, fans whirring, hearing the bearings rolling as you're moving, and you're just like, ah, oh, I'm in a space suit. And then you're like, I'm in a space suit, get me out of this thing, oh my god. They really brought the level of L5 up, just not even from a production design aspect, but just from when they arrived on set, and everybody kind of crowded around, and then Chad was the first to get in. And the minute he came out, and he came up in that spacesuit, everybody was just, they couldn't stop staring. 